the washing of our hands now is for ritual purity. And just as the earlier washing removed the physical dirt, which might spoil our health, this washing reminds us to remove the spiritual debris that often blocks our relationship with God and even with our own soul. Unlike dirt, we don't have to use soap or scrubbing, but merely direct our hearts to the truth. Our souls are always pure. There is nothing standing between us and God, save our own hesitations and self-doubt. Immediately after that washing, we take the matzah and make two blessings, one for the bread itself, the other for the eating of matzah. One might think the second redundant. Have we not been thankful enough by saying thank you for this bread, for saying thank you for this food which nourishes us? But it is the second role that matzah plays in our national history that is very important to be reminded of. Matzah not only symbolizes the bread of life, the raising of our nutrition, but instead represents the freedom, the freedom to be Jews, the freedom to be people in the world able to follow God and not serve the tyranny of Pharaoh. The matzah may look simple. It may not even be to your liking. But in this second most important role, it is always a blessing to have and one that must be cherished.